At number four tonight, the FBI issuing an alert for cops working on Halloween. The warning is of possible attacks against local law enforcement. Simon Shaked is uncovering new information. He joins us now live outside Detroit Police Precinct on the west side. Simon. Heather, Glenda, the FBI routinely shares information like this about threats with local police. And in this case, that is what they did. And in fact, it is the police who could themselves become targets on Halloween. It's a new alert to more than 20 major U.S. cities, including Detroit. The FBI warning of an anarchist plot to ambush cops on Halloween. The Grim Creepers proposing the Halloween Revolt are part of an extremist group known to feds as the National Liberation Militia. 22 major cities. Detroit was one of them. Basically against the government. Uh, they wanted to come out on Halloween because... Uh, you could wear masks and have an easy getaway. Only on 7, Detroit Police Assistant Chief Steve Dolan acknowledging the serious nature of the threat. He learned the group has encouraged members to wear Halloween masks and create a disturbance luring in officers, then to use weapons on them such as bricks, bottles, and firearms. Our guys are always vigilant about that kind of stuff. And with everyone out on Halloween, uh, we want to make sure kids don't get hurt as well. As a result of the warning, cops in Detroit and throughout southeast Michigan are keeping an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. They're also asking parents of trick-or-treaters and anyone else to report suspicious activity. Yes, uh, there are groups out in the country that are, are bashing the police, and, and, and I understand that to a point. We're not expecting any problems here. For the most part, the citizens have our back in Detroit, and, and we're happy with that. Tonight, the FBI in Detroit is officially not commenting on this, but on a national level, the FBI is urging everyone to remain vigilant on Halloween. Live on Detroit's west side, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Simon. And at number five,